I believe there are a lot of benefits. Um, one that personally speaked out to me was the cost, and I believe going through the panel, that's the biggest thing you're gonna hear from us. Um, on top of that, uh, we live in such a technological era where we have accessibility to Wi-Fi at any coffee shop, at any restaurant, any place almost, um, most shopping centers. So being able to access OER from any computer, from our cell phones, from any hotspot, it's allowed us to interact with school more. Um, I know personally for me, as I was going through OER, I was very selective with what classes I was gonna take. Um, and rather than putting the money towards textbook costs, costs, I was able to put the money towards parking permits for school, gas, um, clothes, because clothes is definitely important, what you're gonna wear to school. Um, and I was able to put the money from textbooks to other things. Um, I was able to buy a car this year, uh, which was my first big girl purchase. And so thankfully, <laughs> Um, from the textbook money, I was able to put a down payment on that and save with that as well. I feel like I personally benefited from it because I was able to maximize my potential um, with the courses I was taking rather than, I guess you can say, I was a big procrastinator um, with OER. It was kind of like I had no excuses of, oh, I left my textbook at home. I'm not gonna be able to do my homework or, oh, I won't be able to have time because I have all of this other stuff. Now there's no excuse for me. I'm required to do this stuff and it's been able to help me with my classes and get further with my classes as well. I honestly had a lot of benefits um, from having these materials. Uh, first and foremost, the ability for me to read anywhere, just like Michelle said. Um, being a single mom of three, every single minute of my day is consumed um, by something. So um, I usually just sleep like three hours because it's, it was so important for me to not waste my children's time by going back to school and being a single mom. Um, I felt like that was my motivation, like I finished my associates within a year, but that was just because I did not want to waste their time. <laughs> um, I went back to school um, in February of 2016, and I, at the beginning when I was just taking, um, like with the textbooks, it's hard for me to carry that big backpack with all those textbooks because there's no lockers in community colleges. Um, so carrying all of that and then having to worry about my kids and their things and the diaper bag and all of that, um, it was really beneficial for me to be able to read at 12 o'clock at night, three o'clock at night in the morning, um, but also whenever I was waiting for my kids to get to pick them up or whenever I was um, waiting in line for my lunch or whatever it was, I was able to just log in and read. Um, I currently decided to, I purchased an iPad just so I can um, have the accessibility to get more on, um, like electronic resources most of my, I only have two books that I purchased, um, like actual textbooks, but everything else is on online. And if I was here, I could have been reading, well, thankfully if I was interested in what I was listening to, but um, <laughs> if, you know, it, it's in little moments like that where I can read for five minutes, advance my, I actually like to read my books. Everyone thinks I'm weird, but I, I gain a lot just by reading. So, um, not only is it beneficial because of time, but also money. Money and time are of an essence for me. Um, yeah, basically that's, I, I think all of, us, all of us agree on that. Yeah, definitely the cost factor is one of the major things. Um, the fact that you, OER was offered, it allows me to put my kids into extracurricular activities versus spending money on books. So that's one of the major factors for me. Um, time is another thing, so, oh, sorry. Um, so another one was time. Time for me is um, very valuable, especially with three kids. They're all very busy, so I'm on, a go on the go all the time. Um, when we have quizzes and that kind of thing, so it's open book. So when you're searching for things, instead of me having to go to the end of the book to find what I'm looking for, then flip through the pages, I can just do control find and find a vocabulary word and then just go back and, and reread it. It, it. it allows us to, to lessen that, that time factor of having to search, so. 
One of my favorite things about OER was uh, it had tailored to the different learning styles. I was able to watch videos when I wasn't able to understand what I was reading. And the way I, um, the text was, it was very, uh, I felt simplified to me, so I understood it more. And uh, that was my favorite thing about OER. It's funny, Luisa, you mentioned about textbooks. So I, I go to uh, Cal State Fullerton, and if you've heard anything about the parking, the parking is horrible. <laughs> so we have, I think we hit a record number of students enrolled this semester of a little over 40,000 students at Cal State Fullerton. So you can just imagine how many parking spots are, are left open for you or for our students. But um, with me, I, I'm at the, the campus library almost every night until midnight. You know, thankfully they, they're open till midnight. And we sometimes, if we have to, we have to park at an off-site location because of parking. So um, for me to, to lug around these heavy textbooks, it, it's, 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 it's a burden. Because by the time I actually sit down in the library, a big part of me doesn't really want to study. <laughs> So um, it, it definitely, uh, with OER, it was definitely, a, a, to have the leisure of having it at my fingertips is, is a huge benefit. Uh, but one thing that I want to point out, and I think this is really important, I remember uh, last year when I was uh, in my earth science course, I, I was up late at night and I was watching a video, a video clip of my professor. She put together these uh, images, these video clips, but her voice was embedded in the background. So I think it was, I think it was about one o'clock at night and I had my lights off and I was just, just staring at the screen and listening to this lecture. And as soon as the video ended, I, I, I had completely forgot that I was at home. I, I thought I was in the classroom and I thought it was so silly that I, I got up and I just started laughing like, Oh, I'm at home, and I'm serious. It was so funny. You had to be there. Um, I was like, oh. But what I'm really trying to get at is that OER has the potential to be very engaging. So it, it had my undivided attention for sure. <laughs>